What's up, guys? Huge Easter egg hunts are going to be going on, and if you'd like to follow along live, we'll be hunting over on my Twitch channel if you'd like to come chat and see any progress made. But anyways, let's get into the video. Man, oh man, it has been a long time since we did an Easter egg video here on the channel, but so far we're plugging away at a huge Easter egg in Verdansk. Some bunkers opened up today in Warzone because the red access cards are now readily available as ultra rare spawns out of crates. Whether that be your legendary or your regular, you now have the ability to open up the outside bunkers. The inside seem to be still locked off, but we've had a bunch of progress on some bunkers, and one in particular is incredibly interesting. That being the one that you saw at the beginning of this video of Bunker 11. What's inside Bunker 11 could be game-changing, quite literally, as we kick off what may be one of the grandest Easter eggs in Call of Duty history, possibly changing the entire world of Warzone. Let's say right up front, this video is going to show you what is in there, how to get in there, and everything in between. But a fair warning, we are still seemingly at the early stages here of this Easter egg hunt. This seems to go so much deeper, so we'll cover how to get in there and, of course, what's in, like we just mentioned. But we'll be bringing you even more as we go along here over the coming days as we unravel this mystery even more. So if you're interested in learning more and following along, do be sure to hit that subscribe button because for real, you won't want to miss out on this. And as well, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to or are you excited for what this Easter egg may reveal? And finally, some huge thank yous to the squad that I've been rolling with today of Immortal and Carnage Reborn and as well the brilliant minds a part of the Modern Warzone community. Immortal Reborn and ourselves set out on our own grind here at first, but some of the great puzzle work of Modern Warzone's community helped to bridge our findings all together. So make sure you go show every everybody some love links in the description below but anyways let's get into it firstly this started out with last night's update we ended up seeing that the phones changed in their interactable features i noticed right up front two different prompts a shorter exchange and then a longer exchange when ringing prefaced it but there's also a third option i suppose where you get a disconnected tone but of those two dialogue sequences they'll sound like this Now that was one of two major changes and realistically I think that's the biggest change that we had here in the world of Warzone, but it seemingly was overshadowed by the fact that the red access cards allowed entry to some specified bunkers. The bunkers that are outside, if you find a red access code, again ultra rare in their spawns, you can end up opening it up, going in and taking a look at the rare loot spawns inside there. A bunch of legendary crates, a bunch of cash, a bunch of streaks, and some hints there as well, but the dial tones going relatively unnoticed are actually the key to opening up the the only bunker that you cannot open up with above ground with a red access card of Bunker 11. Of those two dial tones and dialogues that we just played, the longer of the two is the more important here of this. When you listen to that one, you'll hear the conversation back and forth, but then you'll hear this different chime tone, and then after that, what sounds like three individual short statements. Those are actually numbers being listed off in Russian. Now, the importance of those numbers are that there are corresponding telephones around the entire world of Verdansk, the entire map, that you have to go and seek out. That phone that you're at, that you hear that message at initially, that's the sort of catalyst. That one doesn't count as one of the phones you have to go visit, but then you'll have to go and visit three others throughout the map. Now, to my knowledge, you can actually go through and figure out what each of these are the corresponding numbers with, because there'll be a Morse code tone that plays when you interact with that, but that's a huge hassle and, of course, won't be something that is incredibly time efficient. So what you see on screen right now are the locations with their corresponding numbers and you're looking for those telephones They can be a little bit tricky to spot in some areas But once you find them you just need to hit those three in order from what you decipher in accordance with the Russian translation Once again on screen right now for you as well So you can check that out for a little reference the first time I did this the numbers We ended up getting were four seven and six meaning that we had to go to the police station just north of lumber We had to go to the cargo offices underneath the airport and then we had to hit the top of ATC and the telephone 
in there to complete our sequence. One thing also to note in terms of the completion of this Easter egg is that if you end up doing the wrong phone, it will give you a sort of error tone. If my experiences have proved to be correct here at this, and if that's actually the reasoning as to why we didn't get it in the long run for it. From my experience here with it, when you get the sequence correct and you stay on track and in order, it is something that will give you a Morse code response as if saying, hey, this is the right one. And then when you finally hit that third one, also, it seemed like I had to dip out whenever I did it because there were multiple teams fighting around me and I didn't want to get killed and therefore risk not being able to go into the bunker. But it seemed like it did that Morse code, but then also that original chime tone from the very beginning, sort of like closing the circuit on the entire situation. Now, here's the thing. When you finally do this, when you finally get that sequence from the first initial starting telephone, the thing is, is that these change every single game. You're not going to have the same sequence one game to the next, so you want to make sure that you do this as quickly and efficiently as possible because you can't go to something that you just memorized the route for. It'll be different the next game you try. And that's something that I also highly recommend is that maybe even run this in trios or squads in plunder. As it stands, blood money quads is something that you earn more money, so it is something that goes by a little bit faster than standard plunder, but also Battle Royale has so many restrictive and random parameters that wouldn't make it very easy to do as well, but that's something that you'll want to be quick because there's still so much left to explore and still to do. But once you do that, head over to Bunker 11, which is just north of Military Base and just on the ridge line behind the fire station there, and if you did this sequencing properly, you should have a green light above this bunker instead of a previously red one. Then all you have to do is go over to the keypad at the side of the bunker, interact with that, and then you're in. Now, once you immediately enter in, it will look like every other bunker that you can enter into with the red access cards, except there are multiple different passageways and different interactable features that you cannot access in any other bunker. One room will see you in a sort of server room where you have the option to reboot the computer. Another will see you sort of in an administrative room where after you choose to reboot the computer, there's a timer on three different monitors counting down from 10 seconds that will just be on a loop. And then the third room will be something that is a sort of experimental weapons locker, it seems like, where you can pick up yet to be released MP7 blueprints that may be challenge oriented and sort of an Easter egg reward. We'll talk about that in just a second. But the interesting part about this weapons locker room is that there is a crawl space that takes you to a hidden room and corridor. From here, if you go down there, there is a console with a big red button, which literally has the interaction feature of saying, press the shiny red button. Whenever you do that, if you turn to your right, the room filled with mist ends up evaporating and it reveals a warhead, presumably a nuclear warhead. Now, this is where it gets incredibly interesting because it sure seems like we're going to have a nuclear event of some kind. Everything looks to point to this direction. And with season four right around the horizon, this might be something that actually could be finished as of right now or something in the very near future. But that leads us to where we are right now, still hunting and to where we still don't have the answers just yet. Now, here's the thing that is interesting to think about. We have the option to reboot the computers. We also know that there were interactable laptops around the map of Verdansk and around the Warzone map here. So maybe that's something now that we have the phones out of the way, it's time to move on to the different laptops. That's very possible and something that I am incredibly excited for. I'm gonna be jumping on basically all tonight to see if we can figure something out here with this, or maybe we have hit a roadblock and where it's something that needs another slight update to progress this a little further. But we also do see that there is a timer of sorts here in that administrative room. Likely that if you do set off a nuke of something, maybe you have to go in here, take some cover, and that's where we emerge in season four or something like that. And then finally, that hidden MP7 blueprint is very curious to me because it's not a blueprint that we have available to anybody else just yet. And that was one thing that I was kind of curious on because with today's update of 1.21, we actually saw a new feature introduced in the armory where it showcases all of the blueprints, not just the ones that you own, but the ones in the store as well that have come and gone and that you maybe didn't pick up, but it'll showcase that those are in the game. These actually aren't even in there, even after we pick them up, even after it says that we unlocked these blueprints. So that's one thing that I'm definitely curious about to see maybe if this does become an overall Easter egg reward and if it's something that maybe is in season four something like hey you took part in the live event or whatever it may be 
but definitely interesting no less but overall this is where things seemingly start to get crazy and where the hunt is just beginning so there definitely is a lot more here at this but i wanted to share this all with you guys so that if you wanted to take part in you wanted to get up to this point and get up to this step definitely do so i think it is a ton of fun and really is such a cool little feature here that is hidden right in front of all of us but that said that's where we're gonna wrap it up i think i would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below what do you think the next step is have you guys been trying along for yourself you've been following any of the easter egg hunt and as well what do you think about the prospect of a nuke event within warzone do you think it will be happening do you think it is something that we're gearing up for that or do you think maybe this is just something part of the story that isn't actually going to be interacted with in such a capacity love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below but i'm excited to keep grinding this out here for you guys i'm excited to see where this goes and bring you guys some updated steps and hopefully very soon a full tutorial and guide on how to do the entire easter egg for warzone but all that said and out of the way hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so it was a single thing regarding all things modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit the subscribe button so don't miss a single thing again as mentioned this is going to be turning into something that is an entire community-based grouped and pulled effort so make sure you go show some love to those down there in the description below for all their parts that they did here in this and of course going forward but if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with us on youtube practically live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but let's head out of the way thank you guys all so much for watching my name is Nespresso. i'll see you guys later take care and peace